How's it going traders, your boy TJ back with another video. Free trading group was popping off last week. Two wins, two losses, ended up taking a plus 10% with free trading group. Link is down below in the description. If you guys are new around here, like, subscribe to my content. I'm uploading content all the time, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Even on Sundays, I'm uploading plus shorts every single day, seven days a week at about 7 p.m. GMT time. I wanted to test myself, see if I could actually make money in this December. Trading has been insane this year in 2022. I'm ready for 2023. If you guys want to buy a prop firm challenge, check out the Forex Fund at the com. Link is down below in the description. But without further ado, let's get into the chart analysis. Pretty simple trade. I wanted to reach up to the around 1800 area, which is previous sell-off bearish engulfing to the previous low, 1766 to around, you know, 1798 obviously you're going to see some sort of retest we broke past 1778 which i took an sl i think i took minus two percent making a plus ten percent week out of four trades so two wins two losses i caught this trade in the same day but i wanted to see a push up and i caught buys at 1786 and 1787 which is quite late however i wanted to see the buyers right here so what you do is to trade this pair you need to go onto the 4h quick highs lows previous staggering buys buys up in the market you know that the bullish trend overall therefore what is this sell for you go on the daily previous highs of this previous low is all the way at 1813 so we haven't even touched 1813 yet go on the daily we can see on this daily two three bullish engulfing days then we touched one range wicked up then sold off and to be fair this can just be price retracement previous bullish high one two three staggers one two three and that's what we saw there now if i go into the one h if you're a day trader you're looking on this trade and you're going oh okay jesus christ the day is going up one two three we touch three times it's a free touch on a one h one two on the second touch where do we go we pushed high on the second touch which means we're either breaking out of this zone or we're going to sell off. And because previous lower high body hasn't been broken below or being respected, should we say. And then previous lower highs broke out of this range here at 1781. And then we was going bullish. So now we know it's going bullish and the highs of that zone is 1787. Now at 1787 is the previous highs of the breakout of the 1780 area. So we know that our trade... With gold, as okay, it's respected. We've seen a break or retest, or at least we're gonna see pull back, collect orders, take out all the previous buyers, and then go up. So we could still aim for the 1809 because our main target is 1813, which is up here, and we're still yet to hit. We're still yet to hit this target. So with this target in play, we know that gold's respecting and the market could go buys. Now we know gold's respecting and the market can, can go buys. We need to jump in. So we're going to see how it plays out. And when this trade's playing out, you've got to take into account 1719. Now watch what gold does. See? Ready? Bang. See this wick? 1781. This wick, yes, it's made highs. It's made highs at a 1787 area. And it is still bullish. But what it's done is, it's pulled up, made new highs on the previous 1787 to 1790. And now pulling all the way back. Now look to see what happens here. Remember the 1, 2, 3 touch. 1, 2, break out of the previous zone, which is here. We can even get a rectangle and just, you know, you could map this out if you really wanted to. Bang. So then now we've got that mapped out. And this trade's made new highs. And this is on the 1H, all in the same day. Previous bullish, push up. Previous lower highs, lower highs being respected. Previous body. Previous body of the high breakout. Previous body of the bullish to make new highs to go to 1800. So what's this? It's just a minor pullback. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 6 to 7 hours, minor pullback. And then from this area, you know it's staggering buys. Lower highs being respected. What happens? Pulls it here. 
So from previous highs, pull back to the congestion zone highs, bullish engulfing, let's just say as an example of when market pulled back and then changed direction to the real market structure. Then we've now we've just seen bullish lower highs, all being respected to make new highs of 1795. Is 1795 going to be it? Well, let's keep playing it out and just keep watching what happens. So from these lower highs, then it moved up. Now what's happening? Is this being respected? Keep in mind, we had 1786 and 1787. Now we had a 1786 where it went up, which was around this area around here, called close for profits, and then took around a 4% trade. And then our 1787 trade, which was a 10 pip SL, this was where the money was at, and we could have even held it probably to 18.13. I'm not even going to lie, but it could pull back even more, which is why I wanted to get out. I don't want to hold trades for no reason. But we had a trade like this. And if I just let it play out, TP smashes straight away. We still haven't even touched the body yet. Or well, even though we have touched it, but we haven't really. And let's see if it respects it at 1719. I'm pretty sure this was the end of the day. But we managed to get our profits in. And yeah, see a wick out above 1801. Previous lower high come down after the wick. And then went back up again. So 1813, yet to be hit. The, this zone was hit. So we'll see what happens when market opens today. As I said, links in the description. Make sure to join up. This was the free trading analysis that I had. It was just a quick in and out. I wanted to make profit. I used tighter sales. And I was just aiming for a zone. I waited for price to break out, which it did, to make a retracement back to at least 1797. But overall, on a daily, 1813 was my main target. So I knew that this would be in a good position to buy. Could have bought in here as well. But, you know, waited for the breakout. It's kind of like a breakout new technique where you can just catch the trend and then go buys. It's been your boy TJ. Appreciate your support. Subscribe if you are new. Like the content. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.